Tributes continue to pour in in Greektown following that horrific shooting that left two people dead. Their photos on display across the Danforth. Those two, Reese Fallon that you see right here and Juliana Kozis. And the tributes just continue pouring in. Just at the top of the hour, the streets were silent. Everyone was still. Business owners, shop owners, their employees, as well as their customers came out onto the sidewalk for a moment of silence. The community members are honoring the victims. They also wore this here. We are the Danforth hashtag Toronto strong saying they're hoping Torontonians stand strong with them. They want Torontonians to come out to the Danforth and to heal with the Danforth. This is all the restaurateurs and all the retailers, all of their staff, the, the, the people who are helping serve you, the, the waiters, the waitresses, the chefs, they're all come outside all along the street for two and a half, three kilometers, basically moment of silence for the tragedy because it was a, absolutely a, a horrendous tragedy last Sunday. There's a specific message that uh, residents and business owners here in the Danforth have for the rest of the city of Toronto. What's that message? Danforth strong. And the only way Danforth can be strong is if we all stand together. Not to let a singular incident define what the street is all about. Lots of people are obviously traumatized by it. The people, this is people's neighborhood. So the people come here every day. It's their homes. It's, it's a walkable area. It's a safe area. So the invasion is not just, you know, to the neighborhood. All of Toronto sort of feels it. Lots of people have written us and said, hey, we were there last week. We were there last night. It's, it's a very personal thing for lots of people in Toronto. And in addition to the two who were killed on Sunday, 13 others were also injured. We have an update on these victims. There are three patients remaining at St. Mike's Hospital. One is in critical condition. A fourth patient was released today. One patient remains in hospital at Sunnybrook. And Michael Guerin Hospital tells City News they treated a total of seven patients for various injuries. All have been treated and released. And one of those victims that's still in hospital is a woman by the name of Danielle. I just got off the phone with her uh, boyfriend who tells me she just got out of surgery. Now, Jerry Pinkson is an ER trauma nurse and Danielle is a nursing student. They were having dinner on a patio here when they heard cries for help. Each one of them rushed out to help. Unfortunately, Danielle was one of the ones who were shot. So he tells me Danielle is still in hospital recovering and he sent me a text that he wanted me to read to you. It says, we appreciate all the support, kind words from everyone from Danforth community, the city of Toronto and across the country. I just want Danielle's story to be as shared as possible so people know the selfless, caring and compassionate person I fell in love with.